Trans influencers like Dylan Mulvaney are facing a ton of transphobic comments online. Two years of publicly transitioning as a woman. Woohoo! These are some of the comments that trans creators like her see daily. And there are concerns about that virtual hate becoming a real life threat. Canada's intelligence agency has warned about the risk of extreme violence against the 2S LGBTQ plus community. People are being radicalized through social media and it's turning into violence uh, in our communities. Two students and a professor were stabbed last summer in a University of Waterloo gender studies class. Police described it as a hate motivated incident related to gender expression and gender identity. Faye Johnstone told me she has to keep the replies on her ex account locked to limit the hate on her posts, but it's still not enough. This hate comes into my inbox, my DMs, my mentions in an onslaught that never freaking ends. Hershey's Canada had to hire security for her after featuring her likeness on a limited edition chocolate bar to mark International Women's Day last year. I was subjected to a staggering cancel campaign. Part of the intention here by using me as an example, by making an example out of me is to make the next trans person more hesitant. Lauren Sundstrom started to receive anti-trans comments on her videos last year, but she's clapping back with style. Another day, another tacky transphobic comment. Let's get dressed. It's just like a fun kind of goofy way to show the goofiness of people coming to my page every day and calling me a man when that, that's not true. Johnstone and Sundstrom say Canada's proposed online harm legislation may help address the problem. It would hold big tech platforms accountable for the harmful content they host and create new penalties for hate speech. This legislation is a start and I hope other uh, jurisdictions follow, but it's also about putting the ball back in the court of social media companies. What they both want is for 2S LGBTQ plus people to feel confident sharing their own content without facing backlash. These people hiding behind screens and their keyboards, they don't own you and they don't control you, so don't let them.